Bigfoot is back, and this time it's going viral. So I've reverse engineered the prompts behind the Bigfoot style clips that you're seeing everywhere. And in this video, I'll show you exactly how to recreate them step by step using nothing but ChatGPT and VO3. First, here's a quick example of the Bigfoot vlog that I built. Check this out. I built this little gym the other day. Perfect for a morning sweat. Gotta keep the quads popping, eh? Swimsuit season never ends. Stick around till the end and I'll give you the full breakdown, prompts and all so that you can make your own. And hey, if you're into AI automation tricks like this, hit subscribe, seriously do it, because I'm dropping new breakdowns every week to this YouTube channel that will help you 10X your output. Okay, let's jump in. All right, everyone, so for the first step is you're gonna to wanna to find a type of video that you want to essentially clone or replicate the style of with VO3. And so what we're gonna do is the first step is we need to reverse engineer the prompting behind these videos. And the best way to do that is actually using AI models themselves. So what we're gonna do is we can do things like YouTube to transcript, and we're going to take the raw video, because the first step is we want to kind of clone this character. So let's pull the transcript for this video, and then let's bring it into ChatGPT. And so I've already done this, um, but I'm gonna walk through this step by step. So here's the prompt that I use. You're an expert AI film creator. I'm working to clone the Bigfoot vlog style videos that are going viral on YouTube, Instagram, and TikTok right now. I need to deconstruct the prompt to feed into VO3 to clone these videos, and I need to reverse engineer the scripting cadence of the Bigfoot character, et cetera, et cetera. And then I pasted in a handful of these transcripts that I just pulled from the style of the videos that I want. So you can see, really we're using meta prompting, right? We're, we're gonna feed the AI models a bunch of data on these videos and have it tell us what do you think the prompts were that created this style of video. So uh, again, I fed it this prompt and then it came back with, all right, here's a tight teardown of what makes these Bigfoot POV vlogs and it gives me a whole bunch of stuff tone, character, visual checklist, etc. It even starts you know, to give me a prompt template. So then we can go a step further and we can pull the actual video content of this minute long Bitfoot vlog video and we can go so do something like YouTube to MP4, which is you know, a video file format. And we're going to again paste in this video link, convert it, into a video that we can download, we'll download it, and then we can actually upload that video into ChatGPT again. Again, I've already done this. And so I uploaded that exact video here. It said, I'm uploading a video of Bigfoot. Could you analyze the video to figure out and reverse engineer the prompt that we could use to clone this style of VO3? So now I've given it scripts and I've actually uploaded real video. And this is when it gets good and it pulls over raw video, you know, it's pulling aspect ratios, what camera angles are being used, the lighting vibe, you get the idea. And so this is when you can start, you know, getting the full reverse engineered prompts. And so I've done all this, I've kind of given a chat GBT a bunch of context, and now I'm ready to use it as, you know, a sparring partner in, hey, chat GBT, give me some ideas for what type of Bigfoot vlog that I could create. So that's what I said. Okay, now based on our entire chat history here, I want you to come up with a one minute vlog style scene and come up with a full script for the scene. And now again, taking the full context that we've given it, it is going to generate you know, the possible one minute type of vlog. By the way, this whole, I will share this whole chat GPT um, chat where I'm reverse engineering these Bigfoot vlogs in our school community, completely free. You can download and snag this and reverse engineer it, grab these prompts for yourself. Okay, so now we've essentially trained ChatGPT on this type of content. Now essentially I say, okay, now generate me a minute long vlog for a day in the life of Bigfoot. And it generates me, you know, this idea. So it starts with the sunrise stretch, Bigfoot crawls from his leaf hut, then he breakfast hunt, 
pine cone pancakes, you know, funny stuff. This is great. And so, okay, perfect. Now I'm going to ask it to generate the prompt for this first scene it came up with. Okay, so then I asked it, okay, generate me a highly detailed prompt that I can feed into VO3 for this blog that I'm creating for the first scene. And so here's the prompt it generated. Again, you can snag this for free in our school community. But it's very detailed, you can see. So it's cut one, sunrise stretch, zero to eight seconds, one continuous selfie style POV take in Bigfoot's forest hut clearing, scene description, subject details, camera and motion, lighting grade, atmosphere, FX, the audio bed, etc. So then we're gonna copy this full thing and pull it over into Flow. Flow is Google's video creation tool and it's where we can access VO3 from. You can also ask it from Gemini, but Flow makes it way cheaper to run each query. I am on the Ultra plan, which is like $125 a month, so it is quite expensive right now, um, but I, this is how it works. So I would recommend doing this in Flow. So we'll copy and paste that prompt that ChatGPT generated, and I am going to have Flow generate four outputs per prompt because it's just like generating any prompt, it's statistics, right? It'll generate different versions of the scene each time. Some will be crap, some will be good. Your job is to grab and stitch together the ones that are good. And so let's generate that. And here you can see it's generating. It'll take about a couple minutes. So I'll jump back once it's ready to go. All right, we're back and you can see here it's generated four versions of this sunrise stretch scene. They're all eight seconds and we can see um, Here's Squatch coming out. And this one he just kind of growls in. So it's obviously not what we wanted. Um, so that's not a contender. And we could clean up the prompt to tell it, hey, I need him speaking this more clearly. Uh, change the prompt. Uh, this one's pretty good. Uh, morning, forest fam. Another dang gorgeous day in Sasquatch country. So pretty good. So he's whispering. Um, Google added subtitles. Sometimes the video generation models do that. Again, you can always go back to your prompt in the next chat. You know, you're just chatting with these prompts. You say, hey, in from this prompt, he didn't clearly speak the line. Change the prompt to make sure he speaks the line next time. Um, and then it'll switch the prompt up and make it better. Um, again, you guys can go see exactly how I did all this with uh, this exact chat in our free school community. Okay, so then what you're gonna do is you're gonna continue this process and keep iterating and keep generating more scenes, <clears throat> and then you're gonna stitch them together one by one. I download them all and I pull them into CapCut. It's pretty simple editing software, it's completely free, and you're gonna bring in all of your clips one by one and stitch them together to create a holistic scene. Um, and that's really how these creators are generating these styles of content, you can use this exact same template to clone any style that you like, right? It's just teach the AI models um, by giving them context, upload videos, upload scripts, chat with them until you get, and iterate until you get it exactly how you like. And that's how it's done. So if you have any questions or you want me to dive deeper on any topics, just drop them in the comment section below and I'll get to them. Also, I know I've mentioned it, but we run a free community, uh, the AI Automation Mastery Community, where we have a bunch of breakdowns on how to automate a lot of aspects of business from sales to creative. So join for free and you'll be able to download all of the prompts that I use for this big, Bigfoot vlog in that school community for free. You'll just click on the post and then download the relevant files and you can go on your merry way and start generating your own Bigfoot vlog style videos or Stormtrooper or whatever you wanna use. So that's all, like and subscribe and we'll see you guys in the next video.